Hey, welcome back. Here's another tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how I handle sprites in the game. Um, we're also adding in the walking animation and the jumping uh, animation as well. See that? Alright, so um, the way we've been handling sprites so far is that we've just kind of hard coded it into our to our object here. I can go to the step event. See how it's kind of hard coded. Uh, we don't want to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um we're gonna create a script. So go to create scripts, and I'm gonna call this one uh, get sprites. And then what this code is gonna do. Is that it's going to take uh, a name of a character and it's going to take it in a string format that's what that str means and it's going to return uh, it's going to return returns all the sprites for the sp specific character so what we're going to do here we're gonna create a variable called name, and that's gonna be argument zero. And then we're gonna have uh, a variable called sprites. That's where we're gonna store all of our all of our sprites. So next, create a switch statement based on the value of name and. For right now, we only have one character, so we're going to put Cunio for now. Uh, we have to write your break. So what we're going to do here is we're going to store every single sprite that has to do with Cunio, like his walking animation, his damaging animation, his punching, his kicking, I mean, everything that he can do, we're going to store it um, in this array called sprite. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to write sprites. And then we're going to say, um, normally you would do this, sprite 0 equals, and then you say whatever your sprite is, uh, item, or whatever. But this is going to create a problem later on, because imagine you have, like, I don't know, 50 different sprites for different things you want your character to do, right? So eventually it's just going to get ridiculous, because this 0 is going to be like 1 two, three, and it's going to go all the way to like 50. So when you're working on another section of your code, trying to remember what sprites 50 was compared to sprites 27, uh, you're going to you're gonna get confused. So to in order to sort of uh, to try to get around that, we're going to use this, this feature called enum, short for enumerate. And we're going to call it SPR. So what enumerate does is that it assigns a, a number to whatever word you write here. And it assigns the number in order. So like for example, this would automatically get assigned number 0 by, by game maker. Uh, walk, that gets assigned the number 1. Uh, jump, that gets assigned number 2. And it just keeps going in order. So whatever I type here, it just assigns the next number um, to it. So when I punch, that's the same thing as 4. And then uh, damage, same thing as 5. So you can kind of start to see where it's like, instead of writing sprites 0 or sprites 5, you can just say sprites spr dot idle and that is the exact same thing as writing sprite zero it's the exact same thing the only difference is that this is a little bit more readable by you know by us by people because when you look at this you know right away okay this is the idle sprite as opposed to looking at it as a sprite zero like wow. right, what is that so we are going to write sprites spr and this is how you use your enumerator so you name it something so in this case we named it spr so you type in spr dot 
and then whatever um, whatever one of these values you want to use. So the next one, we're going to go in order. The next one is walk. And then I'm going to say SPR Alex walk. I haven't um, I haven't created that sprite yet, which is why it isn't highlighted red. But we're going to do that right now. So we're just going to do this for all our sprites that we have so far. Jump. Or the crouch for the punch and the damage. So I'm gonna do that real quick, and then I'll I'll restart the video once I have it up. And voila, boom! Magically just appears. So these are all of the sprites that we we have so far. Um, so idle, walk, jump, crouch, punch, damage. So um, eventually when you start you know creating your other characters, you would type in like case um I don't know um. Uh, Ricky or something, right? And then you would say sprites, um, SPR, idle, the same thing all over again, but this time you'd use the new sprite. So it would be like Ricky, idle, or whatever. And then so on and so forth. So you just keep doing that for every single character. Uh, for right now, though, we only have uh, Camille, so we'll just leave it at, at that. And then we'll also create a default case. So this is in case, you know, I don't know, somebody types in something, some name that doesn't exist. So rather than have our game crash, it'll just sort of default to all of Kunio's uh, uh, sprites. And then after this, at the very end, you want to type in return sprites. So that returns back all of these sprites, and it stores them in one single variable. So that is our get sprite script. Close that. Go over to your character object, go to the steps, go to the movement, and then start replacing all of these um, SPR Alex damage with the, with the new sprites. So this would be equal sprites SPR dot damage. Is it damage with a D at the end? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, here, and then here. Oh. The same thing for punch. Well, sprites SPR dot punch. Then here also down here where it says uh, idle. Same thing. Sprites SPR dot idle. And where else? Okay. We'll do the other ones right now. So um, the next thing you want to do is back on your uh, your little character object, go to the create event, and what you want to do is you want to um, call the get sprites script. So we're going to store our sprites in this variable or this array called sprites. And we're going to go get sprites parentheses, and we're going to call Kunio. And what that's going to do is going to grab every single sprite that's associated with Kunio, all of his sprites, everything, the walking, the punching, the kicking, everything, and it's going to store it right here in uh, this array called sprites. So from now on, let's say we want to change characters, right? Let's say it's like, okay, I want to change my character to, to a different guy, um, Moose or, or Slick or something. All you do is just uh, you change this name from Kunio to whoever you want, and that automatically grabs all their sprites and saves them here and then you don't have to come back over here and modify every single one of these lines anymore because this is already set up for that which is what the cool and the neat thing about doing uh, sprites this way is that it allows you to easily just change from one character to the other without without having to modify the, the main code all right next thing let's test it out see if uh, it works Hopefully we didn't break anything. It should just it should work the same way that it worked before. Oh, and there it is. We broke something. Uh, oh, right, 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 right. Okay, let's do that now. So I haven't loaded the uh, the other sprites, the the walking and the jumping. So let's do that now. The way the way I do this, I, I duplicate the um, idle sprite and then I go to edit and then I click here where it says add um, sprite to file and. I already have all the sprites here, so I'm just going to grab all the walking animations. And these sprites, um, I have them up on my Patreon account, so if you guys want to um, 
download them and use them. They're up there for free. You just head on over there. Um, I also I'm going to include the, the finished uh, project file as well, so you can download that. All right. So there we go. Better walking. Let's rename it to str alex walk. Okay. And then once again, duplicate your idle, edit, add another sprite, and this time we're going to add the jump sprites. So, yeah, that looks good. And then you erase these other ones, leave that one there, and then call that one SPR Alex jump. Then, actually, I messed up with the walk. Go back to the walk, go to edit. That's like you see this? You see how he moves backwards when he walks? So we're going to fix that. We're just going to shift him over one pixel to the right. If you hit on um, CTRL, Alt, and S, that's like a shortcut to, to move him horizontally or vertically. There. So there it is. Cool. That's fixed. Now we need one more sprite, which is the uh, crouch. So duplicate this one again. Idle. Add your final. This, then same thing. You gotta have to move forward one pixel, and there it goes. Good. So erase the other two sprites, and then um, I'm gonna copy this one three times and call it SPR Alex Crouch. All right. Cool. So that should fix our bug. All right. So here it is. And everything works like it did before. Nothing's broken. Good. Let's move on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add um, the walk state. So just go over here to your switch state. And then go add another case and call it walk. And same thing, you're going to say if sprite doesn't equal walk, then set it to walk. So I'm going to comment this, uh, this is initialize sprite, or whatever. Anyways, so yeah, change this from damage to walk, and then this one also to walk. Image index equals zero, and then image speed. I usually just kind of, as a default, do 25. Should be all right. It's going to be a little quick, but it's all right. Raise that. Then um, we're going to want to be able to control our character when we're in the walking state. So grab this from the idle case, from the idle state. Grab that. Move it up. And drop it here. And then the next thing is... Um, The way we're gonna, the way we're gonna transition from walk to to idle is we're gonna say that if our horizontal speed is equal to zero and our vertical speed equal to zero, also that means that we're not walking, so. Our state should go back to being idle. And then uh, we have to do this also with the uh, with the idle state. So we have to, we have to describe how we're going to go from idle to, to, uh, to walk. So all the way at the bottom, this is in your idle state. Type in um, if HSPD does not equal zero, or your VSPD doesn't equal zero. That's what that exclamation mark is. It means not. Then our state is equal to walking. All right. See if that works. And there it is. Cool. So when I move up and down, walks, then when I let it go, he stops. Goes back to being idle. 
now we're going to um, set the jump animation also. So back to your character. Go to jump right here, and it's going to be sort of similar. You're just going to grab, um, so I'm going to grab this, copy it, and paste it on your jump. And then replace punch with jump, and this one too. Okay, so um, one more thing before we finish. See, right now we're everything seems to work fine, but check it out. Look at this. Uh, there's still like some weirdness going on. Like I'm trying to walk and I'm hitting jump, and I can't jump, right? And that is because. Because of this, let's see, right here, idle. So where we have um on our idle state, where we have our our uh, if jump then airspeed equals um, 4.2, we're gonna we're gonna move that. It's time to move this. It's already outworn. It's welcome there. So go to player input, your script, player input, and then just drop it in after it's hit. Make sure it's underneath human, and then just drop it in right there. If uh, input that jump, then jump. And then come back over here, and then you can erase all of this from switch actor all the way down to here. Just erase all of that. If you want. And let's try it again. And we get an error. Okay, so the problem was down here, idle. This break part, we got to erase that. So let's just erase that. And we're ready to go. Okay, so now when I jump, does this little jumping thingy. And now I can walk and jump. Woo. Problem is, <laughs> check that. We can just keep jumping forever. Which is pretty cool. Like maybe we'll we'll add this in later on, but for now we're just try to keep it original. But check it out. <laughs> so we gotta fix that. So the problem is um, that you can just keep jumping. So we need to set a flag that tracks up if we're jumping or not. So I'm gonna put it down here. I'm gonna call these my flags or booleans. That's how you spell it. I'm gonna call this one can jump equals true. So this is gonna control when I can jump. And then later on it can control how many times we can jump in the middle of the air. So um go back to your layer input. And then where it says uh, if input that jump, also type in and can jump. Put can jump in per parentheses. That means what this means is like shorthand for if can jump equals true, then jump. Then um, when you're in the air, right here, when you're in mid air, you cannot jump. So can jump equals false. And then when you land on the ground, idle, can jump equals true. Also, um, the walking state as well. I'm gonna put can jump if it's true. Probably don't need to put it here, but do it anyways. Okay, so that should take care of that. So let's run it. And there it is. I'm trying to jump while I'm in the middle of the air, but I can't. As soon as I land, I can jump again. All right. Cool. So also, oh yeah, another thing we gotta fix. You see how when I walk off the edge, you just kind of keep walking. I want them to to go into the jump state when you walk off an edge like this. So let's go back to um, here or walk case, and then type in. Actually, you can just cut and paste it from the idle state. Uh, let's see this one right here. 
if Z is less than Z floor state equals jump. So just copy that and then paste it up here in your walk state. And then uh, that should fix it. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to walk off the edge and yep, there it goes. It goes into his jump state. Boom, boom. All right. So this is starting to look a little bit more like River City. Um, we still got to add uh, momentum, which is going to be the next video. I just wanted to do this one really quick just so we can set up our sprites. And um, the next video, we're going to start getting into momentum. So like in River City, like if you jump, um, like right now, if I jump and I let go of the, the right arrow or the left arrow, it just kind of stops in midair. And we don't want that because in the original, um, when you're walking and you jump, even if you let go of the, the left or the right key, like he continues that motion. And then um, if you sort of turn midair like towards the other direction, when he lands, he kind of like uh, he's, does like this, does like a little slide, so it's like the momentum of the, of the jump. And uh, we're gonna add that in in the uh, next video. So for now, let's see. Oh yeah, just one more thing. I promise, this is the last thing. Uh, we're gonna come back down to our idle state and here where it says uh, if not place meeting. Um, Z4 equals zero. We're gonna erase that because we already we already have this written down up here on our gravity script. See how it says uh, it's not place meaning. It's already written there, so we don't we don't really need that. So I'm gonna erase it from the from the idle uh, state. And get rid of that, and everything should still work fine. Um, and yeah, that's that's it. Let's just test it out one more time, just to make sure nothing broke. Yeah, there it is. Still good, still good. And then this guy can punch him. Still does his thing. All right, guys. So that's how we're gonna handle sprites from here on out. We're just gonna add them to our script. Anytime we come up with a new move or whatever, you can just drop it in here. And then uh, once you want to call it, you just use this this uh, command here and that's it right till next time